What's up guys, Dapper here, and we're back with another episode of Starship Evo. And today we're gonna be looking at something on the workshop. This is called the KF and Kylo, and this is made by Big Bad Kangaroo. Uh, we've shown a few of his stuff before, but this thing, holy cow, this thing looks awesome. It's, so it's like an off-roader, uh, maybe like a military type vehicle. As you can see, we have the gun up top here. And uh, it looks like we can have a ton of people. So we got four seats there. And then if we look, if we look up here, we've got all these. Oh my gosh. So what is that? There's 10 seats up here plus somebody on the gun. That's insane. So this thing looks super awesome. Uh, also, I'll be putting a link for this in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But yeah, this thing really looks like uh, like a maybe a private military vehicle or or maybe a, a regular military vehicle. I don't know. It definitely looks like it's suited for off road, which is why I have built this awesome off road course over here. I actually don't know if the vehicle can do any of it. Um, I'm hoping it's not super impossible. Like the last course I made, I didn't uh, make this with that intention, but uh, hopefully we can drive the vehicle around and just see how it reacts to different types of terrain. Also, we're gonna be taking it over to the mountains as well. But before we do all that, we have got to take a closer look at this thing. Holy cow, look, there is details everywhere. Like what? So just starting off, I love the textures that was put on the vehicle. It really looks like metal. You know what I mean? Just like the, those metal textures. You can see that they're even on the sides here. That's super awesome. It really gives off that uh, rugged vibe, I guess. <laughs> and look at this. He even made suspension. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. So if you connect a pipe piece with that other pipe piece, that it really, it actually looks like a, uh, it really looks like a dampener or like a, just part of a suspension kit. That's so cool. It's awesome. Uh, let's move around to the front here. We've got like these, looks like handlebars everywhere, which is super cool. Like, uh, so if you need to hop up here, you, you definitely grab it. I mean, is it really an off-road vehicle unless it has handles all over the place? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It looks like we even have a bar up here, like a crash bar. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. So I love the fact that there's even room to like really possibly climb up some stuff here. Like it looks like we're not going to have much interference because this whole thing's on an angle. Kind of looks like a Hummer a little bit, like an H1. Looking at the hood now, we've got some more details on there. Super cool. We've got these big mirrors as well. What the heck? Oh my gosh. So this thing looks like a 6x6 vehicle for sure. And as we move around to the back, we even have some tail lights here. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, we got like a little button here. Oh my gosh, look at that. So that pulls out like a, a ramp so we can kind of hop up into the back a lot easier. That's so cool. Again, this texture is all over the place. Super neat. Tons of seating. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the ramp back up and uh, let's take this thing for a spin. Actually, we'll look at the interior first a little bit and then we'll take it for a spin. I love this light bar up here. What the heck? That's so cool. All right, so let's hop into the driver's seat. So look at this. We, we have some foot rests here. We got some foot, rest, foot rests over there. And then we even have foot rests on the dash. You know, if you want to put your feet up as a passenger, by all means, look at that. It's it's built right in. That's a, that's a neat feature. All right, so it looks like we do have a button here. Oh, that's our lights. Awesome, I'm definitely gonna leave those on. All right, and uh, we're gonna take a look at this from the outside. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. This thing is so cool. What the heck? All right, so let's take it over to my course here and see what we can do. Oh my gosh, I'm going a little too fast. Okay, so already, Already it's looking like this course is gonna be no big deal for us. Look at this, we are just going right over everything. That's awesome, this thing is a monster. Let's go ahead around the backside here. Man, I really should have made this bigger. I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't realize how big this vehicle is. Let's see if we can do the back over here. Look at that, it just climbs up with ease, with ease. I don't know if there's any part of this course that would give us a problem. Um, 
All right, so we got like a little jump here. Let's head back down. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That was nuts. Uh, we've got two more paths on this course that I haven't taken yet. So let's take the first one that's right here. And obviously it looks like, yeah, this is no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> and uh, we'll do the last path that I tried to make. And that's the side path. This one actually might give us some trouble. I don't know if we can even... Actually, can we even just get straight up there? Oh, our ramp actually stops a block short. I wonder if we could just, like, skip over it. Yep. Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, wow. And we could even do this little path that I made. That's crazy. All right, so now, since we've conquered our little parkour course, uh, and it was no problem whatsoever, we're actually... I'm just going to drive through here real quick. <laughs> we're actually going to drive over the mountains and see how it handles those. So the mountains are obviously a lot bigger. So we're going to see if these give us any trouble whatsoever. So I'm just going to position myself over here. And uh, this looks like a good place to attack. Uh, we're actually going to take the... Instead of going down, we're actually going to try to go up this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. With ease. It is no problem whatsoever. <laughs> wow. This thing is sweet. We can basically just climb anything. And it looks so good while it's doing it. That is nuts. Alright, let's see if we can climb this like big one here. Look at this. No trouble at all. Yeah, this thing was definitely made to be an off-road vehicle. Holy cow. Let's see if we can go down the backside slowly. Look at this. <laughs> oh god, I went too fast. Okay, and we're fine. Look at that. This thing is awesome. Yeah, could you just imagine, like, uh, I guess like a private military in this thing? You're just like, all right, uh, we got a mission for you. You got to climb up to the mountains and, I don't know, bring a bunch of people. <laughs> and uh, they're like, roger that, we're on our way. And then, you just, and then you just take off to the mountains. All right, let's see if we can jump it, actually. Let's do that. Ew. Oh, we smacked the front a little bit. But it looks like we're just going to be fine. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we might flip here. Oh, we flipped! And we're back up right side up. No problem at all. Yeah, this thing is cool. I definitely would park this in one of my garages. <laughs> if I had a garage. I guess we do have the starter garage, so there's that. Also, I just noticed in the pictures for this vehicle that there's... Uh, Looks like Kangaroo has some more versions of this vehicle. Unfortunately, they're not on the workshop. Otherwise, I'd love to show them to you. But there are some pictures here that I can show you. And uh, it looks like there's an armored version of this vehicle, which looks super neat. Uh, that's awesome. Looks like it actually has some doors on it. And then it looks like there's a couple more vehicles, maybe with alternate color schemes or... So it looks like one of them's even set up with like a utility feature, like a, like a crane of some sort. I'm not sure. Hopefully uh, he adds these to the workshop soon because I'd definitely love to see those. And uh, we also have one more vehicle that I'm going to show you that he's made as well. So he actually made an ATV that I'm going to spawn right now. And we're actually going to attempt the course. So here is the ATV. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on the ground real quick. <laughs> it looks like we got stuck. This is pretty cool. So it's got multiple seats on it. That's pretty awesome. So this looks like it maybe belongs to the same fleet of vehicles. So this is just like a smaller version for maybe just a couple troops. And uh, let's see what we got here. So we got some buttons. Oh, hello. What the heck? Look at that. So we can change the orientation of like the wheels. That's pretty cool. And then we also have the lights there. Now look at this. Even on this little vehicle, there's so many little details. That's awesome. So, yeah, this looks like an ATV, like, hover bike. This is crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and attempt this course with this guy, because this is pretty awesome. So it looks like we're getting up here just fine. Ooh, we do have some troubles here. I'm, ooh, maybe we can... What if we got the wheels out of the way? Oh, look at that. <laughs> So if we pull the wheels up, we have no problems at all. That's awesome. Oh, we smashed there a little bit. 
no big deal. We're still able to climb. Yeah, it looks like this little ATV doesn't have much... Well, it has a little bit, but uh, still gets up with not much problems. <laughs> still a super awesome little vehicle. Oh, no, no, what have I done? <laughs> oh, gosh, looks like I gotta flip this back over now. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, okay, nope. All right, no big deal, just need to get that out <laughs> we'll drop it like that perfect anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh if you like these builds definitely let me know i definitely thought they were super awesome i'll be putting links in the description so you can check them out for yourself definitely go show the creator some love if you like this video be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to hit the subscribe and i will see you in the next one Peace.